Hi guys, this is uh, my teardrop build. This is what we have so far. These are the two sides of the trailer. All the stuff on there is just some weight to try to get the bow out of the wood. That's the interior face frame there. Over here is the rest of the wood that I have to build the teardrop is the door template over there to route the door out and over here is the what I have done with the trailer so far we got the front bulkhead the middle bulkhead which will go up to the ceiling we have the rear cabinets And the rest of the face frames are for the cabinets are sitting over there, all painted up, ready to go. So this is the upper bulkhead. This will be attached up here in the ceiling. This will attach our inside cabinet as well as the rear galley cabinet. So this is the rear galley or the inside cabinet and you'll have the drop down TV radio thing that will flip down into here plus all the cabinet space and have electrical outlets inside so this will about 12 inches deep and it will get mounted onto here okay this will be our top radius. Here's kind of what basically shape of the trailer and how high it'll be. I'm about six foot two. So that's yeah, probably about five ten in total height. And and this will be our radius with the this will be the cabinet that'll be inside. Yeah, it'd be roughly about, uh, I think they're like nine inches deep. <laughs> the rear bottom kitchen cabinets, you couldn't make them very deep. Yeah, you can see they're basically about nine and a quarter inches deep. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But the reason I had to go so shallow is because I'm six foot two, so I needed some leg room, and unfortunately we've got to sacrifice the depth of the cabinet to make that happen. But there's a, like I said, this first cabinet here, they'll have a center divider here, you know, so you'll have uh, roughly about, uh, about 18 and a half inches in there. This is where the electrical and the uh, you know, the battery, inverter, and all that stuff will be in this side of the cabinet. The other side, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a cabinet door on or leave it open. For the rear countertops, I went pretty deep on those. I went to, uh, they're going to be roughly about 30 inches deep on the rear countertops. Um, the upper cabinets, they're fairly deep too, about 16 inches deep. So we'll have plenty of storage and that was one of the reasons I went with a non-traditional type teardrop is to have a little bit of extra storage on it. So one thing that I did when I designed this was on this piece here instead of doing the inch and a half like I did on everything else I did it at one inch so I'll have other spars coming on like this going into the upper bulkhead that will also be attached you know have the Luon plywood attached to it but with that little bit of space right there I'll be able to easily run the wires inside of the uh, inside of the, the studs yeah these are the 
side drawings for the teardrop. Give the basic shape. I went with a non-traditional style teardrop. I think it'll fit my needs a little bit better. For the cabinets, I decided to kind of go a non-traditional route. You know, not build the typical box and then put it in. I'm trying to save a little bit of weight. So instead, I made all these cleats that'll attach all the, uh, you know, the inside of the cabinets, the dividers, and the cleats for it to attach the top to the roof, and then there's cleats on the bottom. Those will attach the, uh, you know, the bottom shelf to that. And, yeah, I won't save a lot of weight, but, you know, when you have a small car to pull a trailer, you have to save any weight that you can. The sides I went with the three quarter inch birch finished on both sides. That'll just save a little bit of time on the finishing part of it. And the bottom part you can see I notched out for the bolts that are sticking out on the trailer frame. And those will go right over that. I've used like four coats of the Helmsman uh, varnish to seal the bottom side of it to keep any moisture out. And these are the bolts that I'm talking about that are sticking out on the side of the side rails of the trailer. And the floor is made out of three quarter inch ACX plywood and I've covered it with uh, linoleum just to you know seal it in, keep moisture out. A little bit cheaper inexpensive, inexpensive way of doing it. The front bulkhead, the upper middle section there, it's framed up. You know, if down the road I want to you know, put an AC unit in. I went and measured a 5,000 BTU unit. So when I frame that up, it's all set up. If at a later time I want to install one. Well, the next step will be ripping up the quarter inch Luan plywood that I have. And I'll go ahead and make the back of this cabinet. It'll be a lot easier to put in before I put the side walls up. Well, that's all I got to show today. Um, as soon as I get some more done and get some time, I'll add more to the video. Hopefully the video will be a little bit better. But uh, yeah, for all you people out there trying to build a teardrop, I hope this may help a little bit or give you some ideas. See you soon. Bye.